All right, welcome back, guys. Well, <clears throat> I can't resist, and I've decided to uh, take a stop and see if we can work out a first taste and first smoke video with the new Ben Wade. What is it, buddy? This is Reza, everybody. <laughs> Don't knock my camera over. My, my phone. goes the pop. Mm, sweet. Michwa. Sweeter than I expected actually. I've got some HH old dark fired at home. I don't think I did a video on that yet. Oh wow, here's our presentation. I gotta say, these flakes look beautiful. Beautiful little flakes. They're on the thick side, but they're pressed in here. I don't know if I can get them apart without tearing them up. Oh no, they're not on the thick side, they're on the thin side. And so that's why I can't get them apart. Anyway, I got the softy bit on the on the new Ben Wade. Let's see if we can uh, get some of this tobacco in here. Pull myself off two of these flakes. These are these flakes are pretty well pressed together. Now with flakes, I've tried all kinds of different ways. The latest rendition that I'm doing is I'm just rolling it up. This is a huge bowl, by the way. Hold on, Reza. This, you probably ought not eat this. And then as I stuff the pipe, I do a little, uh, I try to break it up as I'm stuffing the pipe. So let's give it a shot in this one. This is, this is, uh, I've never had a flake like this that has that serious line of demarcation between the different varieties. This is not a, this isn't going to be a really good first taste video because I don't have all of the ingredients and all them jazz, but. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Mm. The aroma on this is wonderful though. Definitely, uh, hay, not straw. There's a difference. This is hay. This is this is horse feed type of hay. A little alfalfa mixed in. Anyway. Let's get cracking. You know, I got so many of these to do now. I, I, uh, <laughs> I've overwhelmed myself, but we'll give it a go anyway. Oh, I want to thank uh, LA Pipe Smoker, uh, who uh, mentioned me in one of his uh, latest videos. So, thank you, buddy. Uh, you give me a pretty good review there I don't believe I deserve but uh, hopefully with the normal videos that I'm doing with the first tastes and then uh, a final impression video afterwards I th I'm hoping that that'll be along the lines of uh... <laughs> beautiful poodle beautiful you guys should see that poodle anyway <clears throat> uh, beautiful um, Anyway, thank you, L.A., and uh, 
uh, hopefully I can live up to the uh, to the pedestal you've put my channel on. I mean, I think you really gave me a great, great uh, recommendation to everybody. So thank you, thank you. I'd say moisture out of the tin was smokable. We'll see here in a second. What are we at here? Five minutes. Oh, I'm doing good. But some people probably would say that it was moist. I'm going to crack this up to not having well blended the the flakes, but I'm not opposed to doing that. I I, I kind of like some some things changing as you smoke. Um, not unlike maybe a cigar, or maybe I should start doing some cigar stuff too for you guys. Not that I'm a pro. Sweet, fresh homemade bread. White bread. Not, you know, 17 grain, all that, you know, none of that. Just plain, fresh baked white bread. A yeasty, sweet aroma. Let me say that. That's that's the aroma that I'm getting off of it. And sweetness, just taste, some sweetness. But again, this is a natural. I say again. I say again because I recorded a video earlier today of the 10 Russians, and I, I think it went 20-something minutes. And one of the flavors off of that was a, a natural sugar, a natural brown, not baking brown sugar, but a natural sugar that it's brown looking anyway. The Ben Ways give you a jaw workout though. They're pretty hefty pipes. flavors all around the tongue right on the tip I'm getting black olives the canned variety the sides of my tongue Some sort of a citrus. Not orange or lemon or or lime though, but a, a, some maybe it's not considered citrus, maybe a, a, a more tropical fruit. Like a, not a fan of mango, but this has a mango y on the sides of my tongue. Pretty good, Orly. Well, let me wrap this up. That's the uh, first taste, anyway, of the Orly. Dark Fired Kentucky.